Let's do some stocks on the move now. We start with United Health off the back of earnings. That's a much needed lift in those shares by 6%. They did beat. Jimmy, you own it. You say it's on probation because it hasn't performed well of late. Does this relieve any of your fears about where this stock was heading, at least in the near term? It does relieve my fears. Uh, it raises another question. You know, I mean, the reason it's up today, folks, is simply that it didn't do badly. Um, expectations were extremely low. They reaffirmed guidance for the full year. Their medical loss ratio, which is the amount they pay out in claims, was a little higher in the first quarter than expected. And the fear in the stock has been that that would extend through the rest of the year. That doesn't appear to be the case. They have this a lot of charges coming from this cyber attack. And the issue that I now faced with this is great. The worst fears have not been realized, but where does it go from here? We're still in an environment where it trades at a premium multiple, and these medical loss ratios are high. So I'm really, I'm somewhat uncertain about this, but I'll take the win for today. Steph, J&J, &J, they beat. Revenue was a slight miss. You didn't love it. You've been trimming it, too, and you're about to bounce this thing, I, 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 am. I feel like. I, I definitely am. And if we get, like, a rally of some sort, which I'm not even sure this is going to bounce, but... What's the problem here? I mean, the quarter was fine. They beat on the pharmaceutical business, which I like, um, but MedTech disappointed. And MedTech is supposed to shine now as utilization rates are improving. And they even talked about utilization rates improving. So that makes me think they're losing market share. And, you know, in general, I think MedTech is kind of tired. And I sold Zimmer a couple of weeks ago, and we mm -hmm. talked about that. Mm -hmm. So to me, I just don't see a catalyst to get this thing higher. And, oh, by the way, I mean, all of their M&A as of late has been in MedTech, and they can't even deliver on the, on, the, on the report. So it's not a disaster by any means. I just think there's other places to put your money in the market at this yeah. point. Yeah. You, you have seen people, you know, maybe um, institutional clients, at least some firms moving money out of out of healthcare, yeah. so maybe we're sort of rethinking the trajectory of that trade too. Oh, sure.